Hi, I am Joel Mayer. Have you heard of the song Baby Shark? I am going to show you how to create a shark themed photo booth. Take a large corrugated cardboard box. Recycle the box of a fridge or a piece of furniture, for example. Draw the shark on one side of the box. I drew a stylized shark that rises out of the water with a big open mouth. It's important to keep parts of the box as a support for your photo booth. I kept part of the bottom of the box and some of the sides. Here is the reverse side of my shark with the parts of the box that help support the shark vertically. When you have finished drawing your shark, cut out part of the shark's outline with an exacto knife, but keep the necessary parts that allow the shark to stand. Then, cut out the inside of the mouth while being careful not to remove any teeth. It's time to paint the shark now. Corrugated cardboard is brown in general and some paint colors will let the color of the box show through. To avoid that, paint each section the first time in white before adding a second coat in the colors of your choice. Start by painting the waves at the bottom of the shark in white as well as the top of the head. When the white paint is dry, paint the waves in blue or turquoise and the top of the head in grey or any other color of your choice. Before painting the rest of the shark, trace the remaining lines of different parts of the shark again with a pencil so that you score the corrugated cardboard. Then, paint the rest of the shark in white. When the white paint is dry, you can draw over the lines again slightly to delineate the areas to be painted. Choose different colors and paint the rest of the shark. When you have finished painting the shark, take a black marker and draw on the lines that separate the different areas of the shark. That gives a better definition of the drawing. Take a leftover piece of cardboard from the box and draw two fins. Like for the rest of the shark, first paint the fins in white and then, when the paint is dry, paint the fins in a color of your choice. Take white glue and glue the fins in place on both sides of the body. Take another rectangular piece of corrugated cardboard to create the background of the photo booth. Apply a coat of white paint and then a coat of pink paint to represent the inside of the shark's mouth. Attach the pink background to a wall with masking tape and then place your photo booth in front. And now it's the time to take pictures of children in the mouth of the shark. They will be beautiful souvenirs photos. You can also use the photo booth as an activity center. Take ping pong balls or other light balls and each child can try to throw the largest number of balls in the shark's mouth. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube AnimaPlates channel and also click on the bell to be notified of our new videos. To access the downloadable document, visit the AnimaPlates website. See you soon!